Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a beautiful puzzle by sublimating on white acrylic. For starters, you're going to need a piece of opaque white acrylic, the art you want to sublimate printed out on sublimation paper, a few alcohol swabs to clean the piece, a heatproof surface to put the acrylic on, such as a ceramic tile, gloves, heatproof tape, a sturdy heat press, and a large weight. The first thing you want to do is peel both sides of the acrylic. This is going to go into a very hot press and this will most likely melt and get everywhere, so it's important to remove both sides. Next, you're going to want to clean one side of the acrylic with the alcohol swab. When dry, place it on your sublimation paper, line it up, and of course use a couple pieces of heat proof tape to secure it in place. Make sure when you're doing any kind of sublimation work that you're working in a well-ventilated area. To sublimate the acrylic, place the piece with the sublimation paper side up and press for 90 seconds at 390 degrees Celsius. When the 90 seconds is up, remove from the heat press and carefully transfer to a heat proof surface such as a ceramic tile. You'll want to remove the sublimation paper and then press the piece of acrylic between two heat proof surfaces and clamp down with a large weight such as books or this flat plate that I have. Now, this flattening process isn't perfect and is usually not enough to then transfer the acrylic to a laser printer. It needs to be flatter, but there's a neat trick for that. What I do is I actually place the acrylic back in my heat press and press for 90 seconds again, but at 315 degrees Celsius. Once the time is up, I shut my heat press off and let it cool to room temperature. Once complete, I remove it from the heat press and I now have a perfectly flat piece of acrylic. This works just beautifully in my laser cutter. Prior to placing in the laser cutter, I found it's important to mask the sublimated surface of the acrylic. It's not necessary, but I have found that by doing this, I reduce the loss of dye along the cut lines. Laser settings are going to differ depending on your machine. For my Juiki Cloud, I usually cut at roughly 12 to 15 millimeters a second at 65 to 70% power. Now the fun part, removing all of the pieces of masking tape.
And there you have it, a beautiful, elegant puzzle that's a perfect gift 